Uh, hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video um, is going to be a video that's going to, I suppose, concentrate on the concept of correlation and in particular three types of correlation, zero order, partial order and part correlations. Uh, so let me maybe just go into slideshow view here. Uh, dun -dun -dun -dun, presenter view, time is record, slideshow, play from start. This is me here. Okay. So just what I have here is I just have a few, a few uh, PowerPoint slides here that will hopefully uh, get across the concept of what a correlation or what a zero order partial and a part correlation is and maybe just to motivate that I'm going to consider let's say three variables uh, we have variable y which is our dependent variable we have variable x1 is an independent variable and we have variable x2 which is which is another independent variable uh, really what we're trying to what we're trying to do or trying to get across here is that we're trying to understand, uh, let's say, the behavior of variable y, which is our dependent variable. And more importantly, when we say we're trying to understand its behavior and we're trying to understand it, really what we're trying to do is we're trying to understand its variation uh, or its variance. Uh, and by understanding its variance, we effectively understand the variable itself. Okay. And what we're really trying to do is we're trying to account for as much of the variance, okay, the understanding of that variance, uh, by considering other variables. And more importantly, by considering the, var the variance associated with them variables. So here's a simple model. Uh, I have three variables, as I said. Y is a dependent variable. I have X1 is an independent and X2 is also an independent. So just looking at the types of interactions that we could have between, between these particular variables. Uh, well, we could have just, just ignoring everything else, okay? Uh, we could ask ourselves the question, uh, how much of the variation in Y in this uh, dependent variable, how much of the variation in Y can we account for by observing the variation in X1? Okay? And what we have here is this intersection piece here is meant to express that. It's meant to express the amount of the amount of variation of Y uh, that is accounted for by the variation of X1. It could be more than this, it could be less than this, uh, but it's just really trying to express that there's a relationship between Y and X1, and in particular that relationship is accounted for through the variation in Y that we understand by looking at x1. Uh, so the, another way to look at it is, 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 to, is to call this the correlation between y and x1. Okay, So we could just figure out a correlation, the strength of association between y and x1 by just doing a, a regular Pearson correlation uh, analysis. Okay, uh, So there's, there's just a straightforward correlation. We're not taking anything into consideration. Even though we have this other variable x2, we're not looking at how x2 is influencing y or influencing x1 or influencing both of them together. We're just looking for the straightforward correlation between y and x1 and what we say that is is we say that that's what's known as whoops let me go back here okay let me go back that's what's known as the zero order correlation it's just a correlation between two variables uh, irrespective of the interaction of other variables with them variables uh, it's just a straightforward Pearson correlation uh, and we call that the zero order correlation between in this case between y and x1 and and, sim and similarly, I suppose, uh, actually this should be x2 here, okay? So similarly, uh, what we could look at is we could look at the interaction between y and x2. Once again, the question that we're asking is, with respect to the variation of y, the total variation, which is what we're trying to understand, how much of that variation is accounted for uh, by looking at the variation of x2 and this hatched area here this intersection between y and x2 is meant to signify the amount of variation in y that we can understand by looking at x2 okay? uh, which is typically the square of the correlation coefficient so in this case here another way to look at it is what's the strength of association between y and x2 and that's called just once again the zero order correlation okay the zero order correlation between y and x2 irrespective of the interaction of any other variables okay so that's just straightforward a correlation a zero order correlation uh, well i believe it's straightforward a uh, zero order correlation is just the interaction uh, of two variables the strength of association between two variables irrespective of any other variables and the effect that any other variables might have on those on those variables okay? so now let's let's have a look at a situation okay so that's the zero order now this hatched area here is the zero order between x2 and and y okay? so now let's have a look at a situation where I suppose what we know is this is that we know that we know that there's a correlation between x2 and y 
Okay? We also know that there's a correlation between x2 and x1. So actually, this variable x2 is correlated both, both with y and x1. Okay? So what we're trying to figure out is this. is I'd like to figure out the influence okay, that x1 has on y okay, above and beyond the influence that x2 has on y. And more importantly, also, irrespective of the influence that x2 has on x1, if that makes sense. So I want to try to exclude all of this, this variation here that's accounted for uh, through the variation of x2. I want, to, I want to eliminate it and just solely concentrate, just solely concentrate on this relationship here, if that makes sense, the relationship between x1 and y. Okay, where we've removed, we've removed uh, the the let's say the accounted for variation by x2, the accounted for variation in y uh, by x2, and also we've removed the accounted for variation.